This holiday season, ABC7 invites you to give back. And help your local firefighters light the spark of love. For 30 years, your donations have created millions of smiles. All over the Southland. We're asking you to open your hearts to children in need again. To donate a new toy, text SPARK to 24365 or go to abc7.com spark of love. Come on, SoCal. You can make all the difference. Now at five, a team of volunteers in animal control are going door to door to warn people about coyotes after a toddler was attacked in front of her home in Woodland Hills. And Mayor-elect Karen Bass preparing for her transition. Details ahead of her swearing-in ceremony one week from today. Plus, just wait till next year. USA's World Cup journey comes to an end. The team's message for fans. Live from ABC7, this is Eyewitness News. So many fans a bit disappointed over yesterday's World Cup match, but uh, we were cheering them on. We were, we were, you know, <laughs> they, they, you know, just to get to the World Cup in itself, right? Exactly. And to make it to the top 16. Big accomplishment. Yeah. Good morning, I'm Irene Cruz. I'm Tony Cabrera. Mark is off today, and so let's get straight to our weather. Yesterday ended up being a really nice day, and uh, relatively warm, it went a little bit above average for many people. Uh, we're watching the storm system that we saw yesterday over the Central Coast, in the Central Valley. It's starting to move into our area, especially towards Ventura County. And as we zoom in, we can see right now the western portion of Ventura County along the 101 there getting some showers right now. And eventually that will move into further parts of Ventura County and then the western part of LA County today. There is some dense fog in some spots this morning, especially towards Long Beach and Irvine. This is our Long Beach, excuse me, this is our Irvine camera, 54 degrees right now. And uh, it, we're seeing that dense fog it's sucked in there but you can see later this afternoon those showers moving in towards LA County and maybe some parts of Orange County not the IE but we'll track that more this morning and we'll have your 70 forecast coming up later but uh, that's it for now all right Tony thank you Anaheim police are investigating the death of a man who is believed to have jumped from a parking structure at Disneyland. This happened around 9 last night. Police say the man was in his 50s. Disneyland guests told us trams were shut down during the investigation. The Orange County Coroner's Office also responded to the scene. If you or someone you know is struggling with suicidal thoughts or mental health issues, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-2 8255. We're learning more about a coyote attack in Woodland Hills. The coyote grabbed the little girl and tried to drag her away. This morning, wildlife experts are in the neighborhood trying to track down that coyote. Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel has more. On Saturday night, Fish and Wildlife were searching for coyotes in the area with dart guns on standby. You can see them flashing lights in wooded areas. While we were filming them, we saw a coyote on the street. In this video that was posted on multiple Facebook groups, you can see her father jump into action to save her. But the coyote boldly remains watching until the father throws something at it. It all happened at a home on Martha Street in Woodland Hills. The family didn't want to speak on camera, but tells us their little girl is okay. Fish and Wildlife have collected the little girl's clothing as evidence to send to a lab. They try to identify the location on the child's clothing where the animal's teeth actually went through the clothing. And if they can identify that spot, they can try to extract DNA from the microscopic traces of saliva left behind by the attacking animal. Neighbors in the area say the coyotes are bold. They don't run, they just kind of watch and uh, it's a problem now. They got some guy in the parking lot here uh, about a month ago who had a little dog that they uh, went after. Many in the area say the coyote problems have not gotten any better because they say people are feeding them. You know, feral cat feeding stations, you don't leave the food out. These animals are 